What is going on guys, Zen Master back again with another video. And in today's video guys, we're dropping some sticky aim values for the Taylor Drift Pro Aim version 6.1. So if you're excited for this man, make sure you drop a like. If you're new, please subscribe because tomorrow I'm going to be dropping a full tutorial on how to set up the script. Super simple, step by step. You follow me and you won't have any confusion. Alright, so make sure you like this video. Now before we start, I want to head over to the Patreon. Before we even start about the Patreon, guys, I want to talk about the billing, okay? So, it's the 27th of the month. If you purchase the Patreon today, you will be charged today and on the 1st of November. It's nothing to do with me. I didn't choose this billing method. I simply chose this website, and for some reason, Patreon has this billing method, all right? So, don't get mad at me, man. There's nothing I can do about it, all right? So, I'm just letting you know that, you know, if you do want to get the spreadsheet right away, like, I, I would definitely do it too. I would get the spreadsheet right away. Um, but you will get charged on the November, on the beginning of November. Now, in regards to the normal package, man, everything is up to date. Uh, we just finished a brand new Cypher spreadsheet for the 2.04, I believe. And this spreadsheet, oh my goodness, man. Like, I thought this was going to be the best spreadsheet until I just dropped this pro aim. But this feels absolutely insane. It's definitely the best script. Much better than Wolf Warrior. Much better than, you. I'd say similar to the 5.3, but still a bit better. And definitely better than the Scottish. <clears throat> so if you haven't tried the cipher already, make sure you try it out until I post this pro aim uh, spreadsheet because this pro aim is definitely stickier than the cipher, a hundred percent. We also have the Rust early tier spreadsheet. So if you like Rust, you get the Rust spreadsheet and you also get the normal package spreadsheets. So it's pretty cool. We got a lot of good feedback and we also got a little bit of bad feedback. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. You know, I don't sugarcoat anything. I don't delete any messages in the Discord. Some people are having issues, and it's because rust has different anti recoil for each console so i'm working with people on different consoles to make the best spreadsheet so by the end of the month everything will be fixed and in terms of the vip package guys you know if you need one-on-one -on -one help this is the place to go you get all the spreadsheets but then you also get that extra one-on-one -on -one help i'm pretty much on the spot when you dm me i respond as fast as possible when you ask to hop into a call with me i hop as fast as possible just guys please give me at least one day notice so that i can you know prepare myself because I'm also busy. All right, so this is pretty much the Patreon, guys. By next month, if you haven't joined already, I will be increasing the prices. So I'm going to probably make it the first week of November. I will be increasing the prices. So if you join the normal package already, you have this price. All right, so you have this low price. I'm thinking about almost like doubling the price because like I put in so much work, man, you know, and I, nobody else putting this work as me. You know what I'm saying? No one. I see, I see other people's posts, people DM me saying, like how I update it so fast compared to other people. So, you know, so I feel like my price being the lowest doesn't really make sense. And yeah, I just want to thank everybody for the love and support over here. It means a lot. And I hope you enjoy the video. So the first thing we're going to do, guys, is install the script. Because I know some people, they don't know even how to put the script on their Zen. Tomorrow, I'll go a full in-depth video on how to, you know, input values, adjust the script. All that stuff, you know what I'm saying, and to recall everything. But today, I'm going to show you how to download and put it onto your Konosin. So first thing you're going to do is join my Discord link in the description. And then you're going to come on the left over here to Konosin Downloads. Now, I know a lot of people don't like Discord. Even myself, I don't like Discord because there's a lot of scammers on here. So, you know, a lot of the, you know, my viewers who are a little bit older, please, guys, if anybody sends you a message over here, look over here. If anybody sends you a message, don't respond to it. Don't click any links. Don't do anything. All right. Um, that's all I gotta tell you. I'm making a website, guys, so you guys don't have to join this Discord. It's, it's annoying. You know, there's lots of ping. So I know people just want to use a website. It's much easier. So here's a script over here. It's a Pro M6.1. All they're gonna do is click it. You're gonna open up Zen Studio, guys. You're gonna see your compiler. You're gonna click it. Then you will click click this file button in the bottom left. Open up your downloads. As you can see, I have so many 6.1 um, opened. Make sure there's nothing on your compiler right now, you know what I'm saying? And then you're going to click and drag into the compiler. I like looking at the compiler because sometimes there's some notes over here at the bottom. So let's check right now. To those who I mentioned, backbone of the Cronus community. Yep, yep, okay. Yeah, big shout out to the team. And I really can't read this. I think Taylor Drift, shout out to you, bro. Siorin Crow, yeah, whatever, you know what I'm saying? These guys, they, they, they did their stuff, you know what I'm saying? Congrats. Big congrats, man. Bats, hey man, Bats is a go for sure. Best aim assist for sure. So, yeah, you know, shout out to everybody. They did a really good job, so. 
Once you put it into the compiler, you're going to click Programmer. Uh, and then you're going to click GPC Scripts. And then you'll see your script over here. I have no empty slots, but pretty much, man, you're going to click and drag it into the empty slot. Then click Program Device. Very, very simple. There should be zero confusion, guys. Very, very simple. Okay. I'm going to read you the Amos's values. I'm going to explain it a little bit. Um, so we're going to be using AA version 3. This is like a personal favorite of mine when I use a Scottish tryhard. But for longer range, man, I do prefer the V4. So I don't know what I'm going to do, man. I might change the aim assist to V4 for the spreadsheet because if you can't use your weapon from long range, there's no reason of even using anti-recoil, you know what I'm saying? If you're just going to spin left and right. But definitely for up close, for Rebirth Island, I like I got so many good kills. I got so many aim assist kills. You know, like those kills where I shouldn't have won the gunfight, but... I felt the script just take over my aim and uh, make me win the gunfight. So we're using tall oval. I feel like tall oval actually helps with headshots more. So I've been rocking tall oval more. Um, if you're maybe not as skilled and you feel like you can't hit as many shots, maybe try wide oval. You know, I definitely found a wide oval. I hit more body shots, but with tall oval, I feel like I get more headshots. Um, now radius is gonna be 14, steps 10, minimum radius five, and boost will be off. So we don't want to use Taylor boost guys if you guys remember from my first video on this channel like Whoever's been here from the first couple of videos make sure you drop a comment I want to know who's been here from the start of the channel. I always said it man bats boost is like two times better than Taylor boost So if you're not using bats boost, you're not getting the best out of the aim assist because the bats aim assist is definitely the strongest so Yeah, so I always like to have a uh, Taylor boost off um I also would not raise the radius and steps too much higher than this guys just leave it leave the tailor aim assist something like this all right leave it something like this don't touch it now when we come to the bats aim assist i feel like this is where you can make adjustments maybe increase the boost by a couple values but even then man i feel like your long range will just be very very compromised you will not be able to use the script for long range um and yeah i might keep the time at 10 i wouldn't touch the time at all and the size of 12 this is a perfect medium guys this is the perfect medium for you know close to medium range and a little bit long range all right so i want you guys to try out these values these work for all three of your values so you can't make a primary specific secondary specific and groundlet specific all right so that's why i had to make it like this obviously guys there will be updates to the amos that will change the values i just got it last night from playing a couple games it is definitely harder without plunder now because um, the cold I one thing I know is the Cold War guns have a different feel with the aim assist. I feel like you guys know what I'm talking about. When I hop into private match in Modern Warfare and I test aim assist, I feel I don't know, I feel actually the Modern Warfare guns have more sticky aim to them. And then when I use the Cold War guns, I'm not getting as much aim assist, so I'm actually hopping into Rebirth Island right now and testing out all the aim assist, which is much harder than hopping into plunder. So I uh, thank you guys for the patience, man. It means a lot. Also, guys, I know this is my Patreon, and I did put the script here. However, this is a public post. All right, I'm not charging anybody for the script. I've literally refunded probably six, seven people who thanked me for making this script. I said, yo, I'm not making this script. Take your money back. Dude, I do not sell scripts, all right? So everybody who wants to speak down on me, you know, say, oh, I, I try to fake that I sell the script. Like, bro, you're, you're a loser, and you know what I'm saying? That's all I got to say. Anyways, man, for all love and support, thank you. Everyone have a good day.